Tinubu's bishops attack the Whistler reporter at the unveiling of vice presidential candidate. Some selected bishops of the Northern Christian Group on Wednesday attacked a reporter with the Whistler newspaper when seeking for interview from them during the unveiling of the vice presidential candidate of the APC, Kashim Shetima, at the Sheho Musa Yaradua Center, Abuja. The reporter had approached them, identifying them to identifying himself to them, seeking their opinion on the Muslim Muslim ticket, which has generated condemnation and criticisms from Nigerians. Just as the unveiling of as unveiling kicked into gear, some Christian groups from the north stormed the national headquarters of the party, demanding the removal of Shatima from the ticket. Black Tinubu, a Muslim from Lagos State, in south southwest Nigeria, had picked Shetima, a Muslim from Bono State, northeastern part of Nigeria, two weeks ago. Since the announcement, it has generated heated debate with notable members of the APC resigning from the party. However, some Christian leaders attended the unveiling of Shetima but refused to speak with the media until pressed by our reporters to speak. One of the bishops attempted to hit the reporter on the face, forcing him to block the punch. He also threatened to break the phone of the reporter. It was while asking or while taking the interviews from one of the leaders who simply identified himself as Prince, as a president of Muslim Christian Love Foundation Abuja that two unidentified members of the Christian group attacked our reporter. The interview, however, continued with Prince saying Muslim Muslim ticket is not a crime. He warned Nigerians against using religion to stoke members of disunity. The interview, however, continued with Prince saying Muslim Muslim ticket is not a crime. He argued that God can use anybody to change the course of history in Nigeria. The frosty interview which led to the attack. Well, I mean, they give the conversation of, you know, the, the whistler, the whistler and the bishop. And again, we don't have to read the conversation, from, but from what we see, you should not attack anybody. But again, as I mean, sometimes journalists, you really don't have to force the news out of somebody. If they don't really want to talk, they don't really want to talk. That's all you need. If you see their body language, you film it, oh, fine. That's, in fact, that is probably enough for you to do your analysis. But again, when you're pushing and you're poking to get an answer from somebody, again, you know, things can happen to you. I'm not saying it's justified. I'm not. But yeah. So, we should stop preaching hatred. We should preach peace. If Nigeria scatter, everybody will suffer it. Nigeria is already scattered and everybody is suffering. That is why we need to change. And so, you know, I think to keep the argument balanced, I always say there must be a reason as to why Tinubu would pick Shetima. I mean, again, because he has the hard experience, I'm using that as a way to form a counter-argument to, in a way, just trust that he wouldn't shoot himself in the foot like that. Because, I mean... When it comes down to it, he's, he's, he's basically saying he doesn't need Christian votes to win because I don't think any Christian or the South would agree with that decision. And I think he should have predicted that anyway. So for the fact that he's still willing to go for that, it shows that, again, the South, Southern Christians, just the South in general, will not will be opposed to voting for him. And I guess he doesn't need that because he's not trying to impress them. Those he's trying to impress are in the North. They have the numbers and... That is what he needs, well, in his mind, to win. So, again, you know, yes, everyone is talking about why would he do that. I mean, you can have your opinions. Again, if an ABC member and your party is not giving what you want, you are free to move. So, you know, choose what you want. But the fact of the situation is that he's picked his, his, his choice. Tinubu and APC are desperate. They even go low to hire fake bishops. <laughs> I mean, when you talk about desperation, I think that's a very, very key key thing to say because maybe you show they don't believe in themselves, but the desperation that they have, and I guess the old method of buying or investing, let me say, investing a lot into elections, um, which gives them an entitlement to have whatever they want or desire what outcome they want, please. 
But again, the desperation shows in the amount of funds that have gone into it. I mean, it's 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 really. I mean, if you look at the amount of support that Peter B has, and we we know for a, for certain, he has not spent up to what Tinubu has at all. There is no way, no way. And so, it makes Labour Party look more efficient. It makes Labour Party look like they can manage funds. They're not just out here splurging funds. And again, you know, in normal circumstances, as Aisha is full noted, in other countries, the people do invest and, you know, help their political parties campaign. Again, because the power lies with the people, if the people use their money to purchase and recruit who they want, there is a sense of ownership or entitlement, which is only justified for the people to have. Because the people need to remind, because they're the employers. Again, sometimes if your employee is misbehaving, you've really got to tell your employee that, listen, I employed you. If you do anyhow, I'll take you out. So I think it should be it should be the other way around. And I guess the problem is the way things have been. The Nigerian politicians have always, they've bought their way. And so when it, it looks as though they're entitled, they feel like they need to get a return on their investment cause corruption it happens so it's literally i think that's what the main problem is so for Tinubu, of course the desperation is there because i mean we're not the man is not spending chicken change to get what he wants it's a lot of money a lot of money and again because of how desperate they are it's just very sad i mean it i mean Tinubu probably has a right to like be upset and and should be ashamed really, because you know. Ideally, ideally, every presidential candidate would want what Peter B has, but again, do you have to spend that much to get it? I don't think so, because the money can be used for something else, and we also hear that you know with with the investment that you know Tinubu made. It 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 weakened our naira even more, and you know because again these things are done in cash. You increase the the value, or you depre you depreciate the the currency even more. To produce less cash, so it's less heavy to you know, you know what they do, it is what it is. Very sad, but put what you think. Um, this fake bishop situation. Or oh, this bishop situation because I don't think any bishop would attempt to punch someone in in public where you are representing APC. I mean, again, this also leads to another point. APC, I don't, I don't know if they understand. You know, maybe they should learn from these Instagram brands because whoever you choose to represent you or associate with your name is very important. I mean, look at Portable and then this, embarrassing. Put what you think in the comment section below and don't forget to like and subscribe.